The Loralyzer is an RF signal analyzer dongle that when used with the RF Packet Analyzer app, provides a graphical display and information of RF signals, as well as data from RF Solutions transmitted signals. Now it's worth mentioning that the Loralyzer dongle and the RF Packet Analyzer app is only compatible with the Android operating system. So upon purchasing just the Loralyzer dongle, be sure to check the app and dongle is compatible with your version of the Android operating system. So upon receiving the Loralyzer system, we have our Loralyzer dongle, a USB type B cable, the ANT GHEL2 SMA antenna, and our compatible Android tablet. So to get started, open up the RF Packer Analyzer app on your Android tablet. Plug in your Loralyzer and press connect to dongle. Your Loralyzer will now pick up and record data from any transmitted RF signals on the same frequency. So as you can see, I'm using the Loralyzer in FSK on 869.5 MHz. So taking a look at the top tab, we have the RF meter, the packet analyzer, the scope graphical analysis tab, ping mode, and settings. Starting with the RF meter, you can see this graph on the right hand side. This is measuring any signals received on a decibel graph. So if I press a button on my key fob, you can see it is a strong signal on my decibel bar graph. You can also set the trigger level on the RF meter by pressing and holding for three seconds the point of the meter you wish to set the trigger level to. This actually sets the trigger level for the scope graph. On this tab, you also have four quick selection buttons that you can edit and change depending on your requirements allowing you to change your frequency or mode of operation. Now if we swipe to the right to the packet analyzer, each packet the Loralyzer picks up, it will display the data here. Now looking at this data, you can see the serial number of the transmitter, and when you click on a packet, you can name your transmitter to help you recognize it easier. So I'll label this one David's key fob, for example. So now when I operate David's key fob, you can see it lists it as that on your RF packet analyzer. Taking a closer look, it also picks up the transmitter command, so in this case, button pressed and button released, as well as the RSSI value, so how strong the signal strength is, as well as the battery voltage level on your transmitter. So if your transmitter's got a low battery voltage, the Loralyzer will display this, and you'll know this could need changing. You can also filter the packets your app will pick up and analyze by pressing filter and typing in the device code you wish for the app to only analyze. Swiping right to the Scope Graphical Analysis tab, you can see on the Scope Graph tab the graphical analysis of each packet received by the Loralyzer. To the right of this tab, you also have a slider where you can adjust the time in milliseconds. So if I slide this from top to bottom, this adjusts the time on the x-axis from measuring in 300 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds. The M1 and M2 buttons up in your top left are your memory storage buttons. So you can actually store a screen image, then compare it to your most recent graphical analysis. So if I press on one of these, this will save this screen as M1. I'll transmit again using David's key fob. Now my green graphical analysis is my most recent against the purple, which is my M1. If I save my most recent by pressing M2, now when I transmit again, you'll see I now have three different graphs to analyze, the red being my M2. To swiping right, I have the ping mode tab. This allows you to pair the Loralyzer to a receiver when the receiver is in pairing mode and actually walk away from your receiver. You'll see on your RF packet analyzer app, your RSSI begins to drop. The ping test will show you this is dropping the further you move from your receiver, but the furthest your ping will still reach the receiver. It will also show you the time it's taken from a transmission sent from your Loralyzer to a response received from the acknowledgement from your paired receiver. The last tab on your RF Packet Analyzer is the Settings tab. This allows you to toggle certain aspects of your RF Packet Analyzer, such as pause the scope graph when not displayed, or toggle the Packet Analyzer on or off. So that's the RF Packet Analyzer app explained, using our very own Loralyzer. For more information on the Loralyzer, you can check out the product datasheet and its quick start guide. There's a link to them in the description below. Thanks for watching.